What's up y'all, Bill Kamak, new in November 2012. Today we're talking about Logic's tape delay saturation. So you have a typical beat here. You got your kick, your snare, and your hats. Now you might want to change how these sound, but you don't want to use Logic's distortion options. Bit Crusher, Clip Distortion, Overdrive, Bossy Block. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to go to delay and select tape delay. The delay does what it says it's going to do. Delay. need to delay anything and we actually want to use the saturation we're going to bring this delay down to zero do that by clicking sync off and rolling this down Alright, so now we're listening to only the delay, except it's a delay of zero, so now what we need is the saturation. Which is down here, click this. Then you can do the same thing with the rest of the tracks. Alright, it doesn't sound too much like tape delays. Alright, it doesn't sound too much like this is doing anything to the hats, but let's check it on the analyzer.
Alright, so you can see in here the difference when you bypass it, but not so much when you change the distortion level. So that's how to use Logic's tape delay to get saturation. If you got any questions, ask them on Facebook. Bill Kamak, new November 2012. I'm out. Peace.